Hello booktube, I'm Lindy and uh, this is my Lindy's Magpie Reads booktube channel. Um, this has only been a week that I've been doing this and several people have suggested that I do the newbie tag. So booktube newbie, that's, that's me and that's the tag. Uh, before I start, in my last video I mentioned that I was going to be making cookies for my sister's birthday. My sister's name is Zan and this recipe is called Zan's Birthday Cookies. It's from Dory Greenspan's Dory's Cookies. Uh, this is what they look like. The cookies are made in a muffin tin. Uh, turned out great. If you want to hear more about cookbook adventures and how I read cookbooks uh, for fun, please let me know in the comments. So, number one, why did you start this channel? Well, Sean the Book Maniac is the reason. He twisted my arm, he twisted it so much, it broke. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, He's very encouraging and uh, I did a few camera flip videos for him and uh, he kind of held my hand, did not break it, uh, and has been a huge support for me in getting this channel rolling. I'm curious how many of you watching this also got a start with Sean. Please let me know in the comments or if it was another booktuber, I'd like to know that too. Uh, I have been watching booktube channels for about three years, but it wasn't until uh, just in the last month that I actually created a YouTube account so that I could comment. And then once I had a uh, once I had a channel, then it was like not much further of a step to start making videos. So here I am. Um, number two. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? All right, well, aside from every booktuber being unique, I would say I've had lots of practice in um, giving short summaries of the appeal of individual books. Um, and this is through my work as uh, for doing reader services at the public library before I retired. Uh, this aspect of library service was one of my very favorite things, talking to readers about books and um, matching them up with something that might appeal to them. So I became really good at, um, you know, offering some choices and giving really brief reasons why each one might appeal. And I've also written a huge number of book annotations, mostly for book lists. Um, and so, yeah, uh, that's the style of uh, reviewing that I will probably be doing on this channel. Uh, yeah, being succinct. Three, what are you most excited for about this channel? Uh, two things. I like learning new things, so um, just the whole learning aspect of making videos and um, and the possibility for creativity uh, and the other thing is interacting with you so please comment and um, get the conversation going with me about books because I love it number four why do you love reading hmm. I love new experiences and you know that's why I love travel that's why I love learning uh, and with books I feel like uh, I can experience what it's like to be somebody different from myself I'm the kind of reader who gets into the head of a protagonist or switches I'll switch between different protagonists and it's like a movie is going on in my head whether it's first person or not, I'm often um, sort of seeing things from the viewpoint of a character or several characters. And it, it just, 
enlarges my experience. I like to feel bigger inside, so that's why I love reading. What book or series got you into reading? Uh, it's too long ago. Uh, my mom got out picture books from the library and read to us when we were preschool age. I have four siblings. Uh, but I didn't connect picture books with reading. Um, it was storytelling to me and I loved illustrations, but um, the concept of reading wasn't there. Um, unlike with uh, a friend of mine, she said that when, uh, before she started school, she used to think that reading had to do with your eyes, something that you did with your eyes. Because she would watch adults um, and you know, where their eyes would be tracking, uh, you know, with reading across a page of a book or a newspaper or something. And she would think, when I get older, my eyes will be able to do that. Um, but I, I never even got, you know, that sort of concept. It wasn't until I was in grade one and the teacher was writing words on the board that finally the whole concept of of these marks mean words and these words have meaning it's language in a written form and it was all like a big big aha moment for me and um i was off to the races <laughs> from that point onward what questions would you love to ask your favorite booktuber well i've already asked many questions of sean the book book maniac and also Roz of Scally Dandling about the books. So um, yeah, my questions have been answered mostly. I'm too new to even know what questions to ask. Still learning. Number seven, the final question. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be hardest to overcome? Uh, well, my, part of my reluctance in starting a booktube channel was I was worried about motivation for continuing. And, um, this is based on my experience as a book blogger for 13 years where my motivation has, um, uh, ebbed, ebbed and flowed. Yeah. And... I think that what was missing there is that I didn't have much interaction with people who were reading my blog. I didn't go out and seek it either, by the way. Um, whereas with BookTube, I think the motivation will come because I've already felt it. The motivation is the pleasure of interacting with people. So, uh, yeah. So there you go. I've done the newbie challenge, uh, the booktube newbie tag, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, and I'm going to end with a photo from my winter garden. Bye.